Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Friday the 13th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. And I wish everybody a day of good luck. Now, sadly, I must begin by reporting on the passing of a legendary actress and activist. Ruby D died at her home in New Rochelle, New York on Wednesday at the age of 91. She will be remembered for a seven decade career that included early performances on film in The Jackie Robinson Story, St. Louis Blues, and A Raisin in the Sun. She received an Oscar nomination late in her career in 2007 for American Gangster. She played the mother of Denzel Washington. She was nominated for six Emmy Awards throughout the course of her career. She won an Emmy in 1990 for a miniseries called Decoration Day. Ruby Dee was married twice. Her second husband was also actor and activist, Ozzie Davis, and the two together fought for equality in the entertainment business, and they were also personal friends with Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X. Rest in peace, Ruby D. Now, heading to some current TV news, let's head over to Fox. This is not a surprise. The network has canceled its Tuesday night non-scripted combination of Riot and I Wanna Marry Harry. Riot aired for only three episodes. Harry aired for five. And the two this past Tuesday barely averaged one million viewers. They scored a .4 rating among adults 18 to 49. And I believe that Fox plummeted to its lowest ratings historically due to Riot and I Wanna Marry Harry, which nobody apparently wants to marry. They will be replaced for the time being with Encore telecasts of Family Guy, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, New Girl, and The Mindy Project. Let's head over to CBS and CIS. It just came off its most watched season among all dramas for the fifth consecutive year. Well, not only is it the most watched drama here, it is now the most watched drama in the world. According to the 54th Monte Carlo Television Festival, more people watch NCIS than any other drama in the world with an estimated 57.6 million average viewers. That is certainly not bad. And the most watched comedy in the world is Modern Family on ABC. Last year, it was The Big Bang Theory on CBS. I would have assumed it still would have been The Big Bang Theory because Modern Family, while the ratings are still stellar, they have come down a bit. Heading over to CBS, CSI, which is heading into season 15, on Sundays in the fall, will be returning without its original showrunner, Carol Mendelson, who has been with CSI since the first episode back in 2000, has left to join a Sony Pictures TV. She signed a three-year deal with Sony Pictures TV to develop new programming on the network, cable, and digital, and she will be replaced with co-showrunner Don McGill. Amazingly, I remember like it was yesterday when CSI premiered, and it is now going into season 15. If you happen to be a fan of Big Brother, and you certainly know that I am, it is returning with a two-night premiere. It's coming back on Wednesday, June 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and on Thursday, June 26th, at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, the live eviction show will be Sunday at 8 o'clock. It now will be shot in HD. There will be additional cameras filming 24-7, and CBS is adding a number of new interactive online components. If you visit today's newsletter or our website, I have more specifics on that. Coming up on the air on Sunday, I know there were not a lot of fans of NBC dramas Believe in Crisis, but they are concluding this Sunday. They were not hits. They were not the biggest flops NBC has ever had, but unfortunately, they just could not gain any traction on Sunday, and that's always an obstacle. After Sunday Night Football ends, NBC needs to keep the momentum going on Sunday, and that is very difficult to do. Today in TV history, we'll go back to 1981. On that day was the historical interview between Tom Snyder and mass murderer Charles Manson. It occurred on tomorrow, coast to coast. And on this day in 2005, TNT debuted The Closer with Kira Sedgwick. It ran for seven seasons. It produced 109 episodes, and it spun off major crimes, which is now a hit for TNT. And that is our daily video cast on this 13th day of June. 
I hope everybody has a day of good luck. Be careful, stay safe, have a great weekend, and I will see you back on Monday. Take care.